Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and we are going to uh, work on the SQL uh, CRUD operations that is create, update, delete and insert. And also we will be uh, creating a sign in and sign up form. And uh, yeah, let's do that. I mean, let's start this. So first of all, uh, open the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and also open the Visual Studio. So first let's create a brand new project. So we will see Sharp Windows Form application and the name of our, this application will be let's say database project. Now let's click OK and our new project database project is created successfully. Okay, so this is just the name of our project. Now what we are gonna do next is that first of all uh, let's rename this form 1 okay which is our this default form which is created so click here rename this to sign up first we will uh, insert the data into the SQL server to the Microsoft SQL server okay so that for one once the user create a new account then we will uh, work on the sign in and then we will perform the update delete insert further operations so yeah let's do this so the name of this form is sign up okay so click yes and here you can see sign up dot cs so this is the name of our this form and now click here and uh, the name is sign up and also let's change the text of this form to sign up now let's add some text fields here okay so go to the toolbox and let's add a label first just to display that this is the uh, sign up form so here we can say sign up and come here and we need to change this font you can choose any font you want okay I will change it to Arial bold and it should be 20 now let's add uh, another label so it must be bold and 14 will be good so this one is for the name so let's change it quickly we will ask the user First, let's add a text box. So, text box. And let's change this to 14. So, name. And let's copy paste this now for the email. And also for the password so yeah change this to email password this is the email and now this is the password name email password once uh, now we need a combo box okay let's drag and drop this and this will be for the country let's change this to country let's also change the size of it to 16 so yeah that's it this is all about our form now we need a button so let's add button drag and drop this will be our sign up button so change this text to sign up 
and also let's change the text the font size to 14 bold that's it now let's assign quickly name to all these fields so this is our txt name this one is txt email txt password and this one is txt country let's give name to our button also so this one will be btn sign up now let's add a connection i mean let's create a database so go to the microsoft sql server management studio and here you can see you have this database so if you click here right uh, right click here uh, on this database and new database so the name of our new database will be let's create it by the name users or let's say our app name that is let's say we are going to create our social network let's say this will be basically our database name and nothing else so database name is social network and then now click on this ok button so now if you expand this ok let's refresh this ok from here so you can see social network database is added successfully to our databases now here uh, right click and from here you can simply click on first expand this social network database okay which is our database name here you can see this table and from this table uh, i mean above here click and this will appear so click on this table and now here we can create our first table inside this social network database so according to our app we are going to enter the name email password and country so let's do that so the first one is and every user will have user id okay so we have to create that too so we can say id and it must be int integer type okay so we can simply say int and allow nulls unchecked then we will have the name of all the users and it must be n var char then we have email and var char is our third column and now the fourth one will be password and it must also be n var char and the last one is the country it must also be n var char so uncheck this you do not allow any null data in our database okay now uh, this is our i mean this will be the id for each user okay so this is our id column and we want to increment it, uh, increment this automatically okay not manually so you can see here you can if you click here you can see you can also set a primary key to this id column if you want okay so yes we will do that so set primary key to it and also come down here and here we have this id identity specification now before you do that make sure to select this id column okay like that and now here you can see identity uh, specification and here you can see this is identity so uh, click that and press yes select yes from here now we want to uh, increment it automatically whenever a new record is inserted to the database successfully so this is the increment number if you want to increment it by one so yes we want it to increment it by one and identity seed it will proceed if the second record added then the uh, next id will be two then three then four okay so here you can uh, give it any value that is let's say if you give five here then the new record will be incremented by five so we just want uh, one increment okay so yeah that's it now this is our uh, table and from here make sure to give name to our this first table so let's say the name of this table is users okay and if you see here there are also other information given which is our database name social network and server name is this one which is desktop uh, h91hoc in your case your server name will be different okay 
so yeah that's it now you can simply click on this save button so once you click on this save button then here you can uh, simply expand this tables and now refresh this let's refresh this as a whole okay from this database so refresh this and now let's expand our social network then tables and still our table is not added here to the tables okay so let's click on this save all okay which is this one also you can click on this file and click on this save all now let's refresh this once again to see if it is added or not so social network tables and now it is added successfully okay so whenever you create a, a new table make sure to click on this save all or also you can uh, save it from here that is save all and the shortcut key for that is Control shift s so you can see that our new table uh, dvo.users which is by the name users i mean okay so our users table is created successfully now that's it for this video and in the next video we will connect our this uh, we will connect our database to our app okay to our this app and we will uh, insert or you can say allow a user to sign up and create his first account in this app so yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now